Welcome to BulkReefSupply.com. This is an explanation of how to install a flush kit. These kits are used to flush the surface of your expensive membrane and increase its useful life, as well as to flush the fines and dust out of brand new carbon blocks. A flush kit is designed to bypass the flow restrictor to increase the flow. The first step is to remove the flow restrictor. We'll do this by pushing in the ring on the push connect fitting and sliding the hose out. Remove the hose from both ends. Take your flow restrictor and add it into the center of your new flush kit. Slide the piece of hose back into the end and reattach to the waistline connector on your RO membrane housing. And lastly, reattach the long end of your waistline. The flush kit is now fully installed. If you leave the ball valve in the open position like it is, it will allow water to bypass the flow restrictor and flow around it. This allows for the increased flow over the surface of the membrane that we're looking for. In normal operation, this valve is closed, which forces water properly through the flow restrictor. Some units use a different type of flow restrictor, and you won't find a cylinder like this on the waistline. Because your flow restrictor is inside the 90 coming out of the RO canister, it's a different type. It's a little insert inside the end of the hose. It'll look something like this. You can take this type of flow restrictor and insert it into a small piece of tube. And then take this tube and put it into your new flush kit. This will operate in the same way and allow you to use the ball valve to bypass the flow restrictor. Once assembled, use a small piece of tube to reattach to your RO membrane housing and reattach the wastewater line to the other side.